So in this video, we will see how to use Excel to solve the linear programming problem that we had created in the previous video for player B. So if you have just looked, if you, have, if you haven't looked at that video, take a look at that video first. And in that video, you will find that we are maximizing Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3. And these are the constraints. Of course, Y1, Y2, Y3 are the probability, so they'll all be bigger than or equal to zero. So now let's see how to solve this using Excel. So what you need to do is make a file that looks like this. This will be the constraint. So if you look at six, negative one, five, it's coming from the first inequality here. That's the coefficients of y1, y2, and y3, which is less than or equal to 1. If you look at the second one, 4, 0, negative 4, it's coming from the second inequality, and so on. And this is what we are maximizing, y1 plus y2 plus y3, which is the coefficients of these guys, 1, 1, and 1. So what you should do is make a file that looks like this. Now in the formulas column, here, 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 and here, you'll have the sum product formula. So if you don't know how to use the sum product formula, you should look at the other video in the Excel section to get used to the sum product. So you have, you have to do a sum product of this row, which you have to fix. Again, if you remember how to fix things, it's using F4 on your keyboard. Okay. For some reason it's not working on my keyboard, but let's try it again. Yeah. yeah. So this is how you fix. Let me do it again. What you do is you select these three things and press F4 on your keyboard once it is once just press it once you should get the dollar symbols around the alphabets that means that row is fixed then put a comma and select your given line your given row close the bracket and enter and you drag this down and you can check that this is a sum product of this with that so this will be four times y1 the zero times y2 minus four y3. Similarly, this means six times y1 minus one y2 plus five y3, which is exactly the inequality we have, right? So that's what it's creating the inequality. Similarly, this one is the same. All you have to do is copy this formula and put it here and check it's one y1 plus 1y2 plus 1y3, which is our maximizing problem. Okay, then what you need to do is, once you have put the formulas, you go to data on the top, and at the end, you should see solver. Now, before you do solver, you have to install solver. So if you want to know how to install Solver, take a look at another video as well in the Excel list. But click on that. Okay, I've already tried this, so reset all. You don't have to do this when you do it for the first time. Okay, now this is a maximizing problem. Which cell do we want to maximize? We want to maximize this cell by changing variable cells. What values do we want to predict? We want to predict Y1, Y2, Y3. So we want to predict this. And subject to the constraints, these guys are the constraints. So these three things needs to be less than or equal to these three things. So how do you do that? You click on add. And you say these three things needs to be less than or equal to these three things. And do OK. 
So you will see that the constraint has come here. Okay, and then make sure this is selected because we want y1, y2, y3 to be bigger than zero. So not negative, bigger than or equal to zero. And then we are using the simplex method. So make sure simplex is selected here and click on solve. So let's just recap. This is the cell you're maximizing. These are the three values you're predicting. We're finding the probabilities and these are the constraints. Click on solve. Let's see if it works. Solve the results. All you have. If you want to see the answers, you can click on the answers and do OK. But you can just look at the answers in the file itself. So these are the answers. The value of Y1 is 0 0.18. Okay, which I told you in the problem was 8 divided by 43. So we can check it. 8 divided by 43 is 0 0.18605. I told you the value of y2 was 5 over 43. If you look at the video, we can check 5 over 43 is 0.11628. And this was the value of 1 over v, if you remember. So to get the value of v, we have to do 1 divided by that. Remember from the video I had told you the value of V was 43 over 13. So you can check 43 divided by 13. And so, right, so this is V. This is Y1, Y2, Y3. Okay, and then you take these values and calculate Q1, Q2, Q3. Okay, so this is how you use Excel to get Y1, Y2, Y3 for the LPP problem from another video. I hope this helped. Any questions, you can put it below in the comments.